Ezekiel 45. Moreover, when ye shall divide by lot the land for inheritance, we'll, that chapter will be coming up in a few, few days. This is, you know, they call it the land of Palestine. Let me tell you, it's wrong. They call it, oh, you're going to the Holy Land? It ain't holy. It ain't holy with priests running around in Arabians. It ain't holy when the nation of Israel sinned against God. It's called the land of Israel. It'll be holy when Jesus Christ. The length shall be the length of five and twenty thousand reeds. The breadth shall be ten thousand. This shall be holy, this portion of land, and all the borders thereof round about. Of this there shall be for the sanctuary, the temple, the home, the house, inside the holy proportions, 500 in length, 500 in breadth, square round about, 50 cubits round about for the suburbs. And this is the measure that thou measured the length and five and twenty thousand and the breadth ten thousand and it shall be for shall be the sanctuary and the most holy place so there is a division in the land set apart for the nation of israel and set up for the temple The holy portion of the land shall be for the priests, the ministers of the sanctuary, which shall come near to minister unto the Lord. And it shall be a place for their houses. This is how it was set up back in, no in Moses' time. Moses, you had the tabernacle. Around the tabernacle, you had the four divisions of the Levites. And then you had the twelve divisions of the land of, of the, the tribes of Israel. So it was the tabernacle, the priests, and then the sons of the children of Jacob. Here we are in the millennium. You, you got the house, you got the holy place, you, you got the sanctuary, you got the Levites. <coughs> and difference is. From north to south, you're going to have the, the, the tribes of Israel in rectangular places from east to west. And we'll be talking about the division of that in a later chapter. And the five and twenty thousand in length. And the ten thousand breath shall also the Levites. Now remember, priests, all priests are Levites. Not all Levites are priests. So in this area, there are priests, there are Levites, and they're doing the ministry job set apart for God, by God, in the service of the temple. Of the holy things. In and out of the priests in the temple. There are Levites. Still where no other children of Israel can go. There are Levites. They may be sweeping. They may be bringing wood. They may be tidying things up. They may be sewing things up. They may be. But they're not doing the priestly office. But they're in the priestly area. A Levite. And they, you got to know who the Levites are going to be in the future. Because there they are. Especially as we learned about Zadok. Ministers of the house. And have for themselves for a possession of 20 chambered wounds. And you shall appoint the possession of the city 5,000 broad. 5 and 20,000 long. It's laid out. 
over against the oblation of the holy portion. We got the holy place. We got the holy portion. And then we have earlier, we had the, the, the holy portion is the land. And it shall be for the whole house of Israel. Now the whole house of Israel, they're going to, by means, enter the temple and enter the place of worship through these areas. And they're going to come in contact with the Levites and they're going to come in contact with the priests. And they're going to be directed where they need to go and what they need to do and how they need to do it. And any and a portion shall be for the prince on the one side and on the other side the oblation of the holy portion, the land. And of the possession of the city before the oblation of the holy portion. Before the possession of the city from west side to westward and from east side eastward. And the land shall be over against one of the portions from the west border and the east border. And this is how the nation of Israel, the land is going to be. Their, their property is going to go from east to west. Long. And they're going to start north. I, I don't have, we'll get to it. One tribe, then south, another tribe, south, another tribe, south, another tribe. And then you're going to have this holy portion. And the priests are going to be surrounded this holy portion. Then you're going to pick up south, more of the tribe, south of them, another tribe, all the way till you finish it up. The land shall be his possession in Israel, the prince. And my princes, plural, shall no more oppress my people. Now, if there's anybody who was oppressing the people, they weren't the priests, they weren't the princes, was the Sadducees and, and the Pharisees were oppressing the people, you know, you, you didn't wash your hands. You did this. You weren't supposed to do that. And you did that. You were supposed to do this. And when Jesus said, ye are heavy laden, he was talking about what the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the government was doing to the people. He's like, I'll give you rest. You know, the rest today with COVID-19, the vaccines, and, and all these things, the rest of God is obey the Bible, obey the powers that be of the government. Except for where it conflicts the scriptures, but obey the government and you're going to have peace. I had no problem getting my booster shot, which I'm not dead yet. God said, get the booster shot, and I still want you to live 24 more hours. So, there are people upset. I'm going to lose my freedom. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to have my job. Well, now you don't have your job because you're an idiot, and you ain't got no income coming in. I say you shouldn't get unemployment. Oh, I don't care what you think. Uh, you should know that by now. This is my preaching. The perfect peace is to do what the Bible says to do. And when you step outside the word of God, there is no peace. And the rest of the land shall they give to the house of Israel according to their tribe. And that will be laid out in a couple chapters. That's not, that's not going to be in a millennium. That's not going to be the land of Palestine. And if you say the land of Palestine, you're wrong. You don't know scripture because Palestine had a little flock. Of, they had only five cities and five kings. How can you say the land of Palestine? You don't know your Bible. It's the land of Israel. How do you know that? God said, Abraham, yes. Where you are right now, yes, Lord. <laughs> Look east, oh, okay. Look west, okay. Look north, yep. Look south. See what you see? Yes. 
That's yours. You see, that's not very far. You remember Moses, before he died, God said he saw all the way to the land of Dan on the other side of the River Jordan. He saw all the way down to Bathsheba. I believe God gave Abraham the, the sight that he gave Moses. That land was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God didn't give it to the Palestinians. Matter of fact, if they had obeyed God as God told them under Joshua, there should have been no more Palestinians or no more Philistines when David, David shouldn't have to fight Goliath if they obeyed God in Joshua. He said, well, you know, Goliath was a gath. He was... He should have been dead too in all his family. The man that came to David said, David, you know, Saul, you know, he killed himself and I helped him kill himself. He was an Amalekite. That's kind of funny because if, if Saul, King Saul did what God told him to do, the Amalekites would have been dead. Because God told him completely wipe them out. But we saved the best. You know, people say, uh, I'm going to give the best to God. Maybe God don't want your best. Because maybe your best is a sin. If you're making money off alcohol, tobacco, or gambling, that could be the best you got. Because like, I, I don't want that. I don't want that filthy liqueur. But I don't know how I got on that one. That didn't cost you extra. Thus saith the Lord God, Let it suffice you, O princes, plural, of Israel. Remove violence and spoil. Jesus will. In Babylon, repent, get right, execute judgment and justice. Jesus will do that. The apostles will do that. The heads of Israel, the elders will do that. And the Christians that get the right to the millennial inheritance will do that. Take away your ex exactions from my people, God's people, Israel. You're in Babylon. Do right. Save the Lord God. And in the millennium, do right. Or you're going to face Jesus. The wrong side of Jesus. People don't realize there's two sides of Jesus. There's that loving Savior and there's that judge ready to condemn you. 